I've heard everything now. Huh? Uh, Auntie? Don't talk to me like you are my cute little niece. What do you mean? I don't know you. Mom, Auntie's bullying me. Help, Mom. What's wrong? My name is Serena. I'm an office employee. And soon, I'll be turning 40. I'm single, and although I was living alone, I have now moved back in with my parents. Amanda, today's flowers are beautiful, aren't they? Amanda loved these flowers. Five years ago, my younger sister, Amanda, was killed in an accident, putting my parents into a deep sadness. My parents were unable to leave the house with worry. Amanda was loved and everyone was proud of her. Even now, after five years have passed, we can't believe that she's gone. By the way, it'll be Hillary's birthday soon. You're right, maybe we'll be able to celebrate this year. I'll try calling Albert in a little while. Please do. Hillary is the very image of Amanda. She's turning 10 soon. Now she lives with her single father Albert, but they sometimes come to play. Come to think of it, I haven't heard from Hillary for some time. I hope she's okay. I want to see her again. She's almost 10 years old. She'll likely be enjoying playing with her friends. I hope that's the case. Hello? Albert? I'm calling about Hillary's birthday. Oh, I was thinking I needed to call you about that. Sorry, but we won't be coming to see you for her birthday this year. Oh, why? Um, I'm dating someone at the moment. We've talked about doing a party with her and Hillary. Ah, uh, I see. I'm sorry. I know we normally come to see you on Hillary's birthday. That's fine, honestly. But don't forget about that. Albert, are you going to remarry? I don't know yet, but Hillary is at a difficult age, so I thought it might be good for her to have a mother around, don't you think? Also, the woman I'm seeing has a daughter, so I thought it would be nice for them to be like sisters. Of course. Sorry. It's fine, really. I'll let mom and dad know. Thank you. Remarrying? It'll be a little complicated. Perhaps from now on, there will be less opportunities for Hillary to come visit. Mom might get lonely. Hillary is like a reason for her to exist. After Amanda passed away, my mom seriously begged to take on guardianship of Hillary. Obviously, this was declined. However, she only ever prays for Hillary's happiness. About a month later, I'm tired today. Huh? There's someone in front of the house? Uh, Hillary? Auntie Serena! What's wrong? It's so late. Quickly, come inside. Sorry, I came as soon as I could. <laughs> Hillary! I held Hillary and tried to comfort her as she burst out crying. What's happened? Was your father mad at you? Dad has invited his new family, Gloria and Martha, into our house. But it was better when it was just us two. Gloria? That must be the woman Albert mentioned that he was dating on the phone before. Dad already hates me. That's not the case at all. Your dad was saying the reason he was considering remarrying is all for you. But Dad likes Martha more than me. Huh? Martha also calls Dad her dad. Gloria and Martha think I'm a nuisance. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Albert. I've got Hillary here with me now. Um, she went to see you then. I'm really sorry, but um, would she be able to stay with you for one night? Of course, that's fine. But what happened? Hillary is crying. Hillary doesn't like the new additions to our family. And with that, she got mad and ran out of the house. Also, because she's an only child, I've probably been too soft on her. From now on, I plan to be a bit more strict with her. Hey, wait a second. Hiller is a good and sweet child, isn't she? That's not right. She's uninterested in people and can be malicious. Well, that's certainly odd. I can understand that. I try speaking with Hillary. I'm sure she's deceiving you. The one in the wrong is Hillary, so please make no mistakes about that. I'll ask it directly from Hillary. Hillary, I want to talk to you for a second. 
I asked Hillary about the situation, just between us. Well, it seemed hard for Hillary to talk about it. She told me all about the new family members in detail. To start with, they were kind. When the four of them went out together, they enjoyed a lively atmosphere with Hillary. But when they started to live together, Gloria and Martha gradually became cruel towards Hillary. When we go out, they leave me out of things, and when they make food, they throw mine away before anyone else. And then they tell you that I didn't want any because I was acting spoiled. Dad, in the beginning, you believed me when I told you these sorts of things, but now it's like you all believe what Gloria tells you. Hillary! Today, Gloria tore up a picture of mom. Tore up? Is that true? Yeah. What did your dad say? Gloria said that I tore the picture and that I was trying to pin it on her by crying. Huh? Dad was super mad. Auntie, can you fix the torn picture? It'll be fine. I have a digital copy of this picture. Is Hillary asleep already? Yeah, it seems she's tired. Even so, what is Albert thinking? To doubt Hillary? I'm not sure, but it seems that Gloria is coaxing Albert somehow. But I'm sure if Hillary and I can speak with him for a while, they come to believe us. I believe Hillary. If Albert is in a daze with his new family, then I'll take care of Hillary. First of all, I'll take Hillary back home tomorrow and try to speak with Albert. I was trying to calm my mother, but I had the same feelings. The next day, Hillary, we were worried sick. Serena, thank you so much. Hillary, I want you to apologize to your mother and sister. Wait, you're calling her your mother? But you're not married yet. That is true, but at any rate, it will be the case. Albert, can't you consider Hillary's feelings for a moment? I don't think you can call a person who met a few months ago her mother, right? Sorry, I want to be Hillary's mother and I was a little self-indulgent. Gloria, there's no need to apologize. Serena, this is a family matter. Can't you not interfere, please? Understood. Well then, I'll go home. But, but before I, I go, can I use your bathroom? Fine. I noticed that while I had gone to the bathroom, Hillary and Martha had gone inside, so I listened to their conversation. I thought you were gone for good. Why did you come back? We don't need you, Hillary. You're a nuisance. Mom says so too. We tried so hard to get you out of here. Why did you have to come back? There's no place for you here anymore. I'll keep pushing you out, no matter what, so hurry up and leave. <laughs> I've heard everything now. Huh? Uh, Auntie? Don't talk to me like you're my cute little niece. What do you mean? I don't know you. Mom, auntie's bullying me. Help, mom. What's wrong? This auntie's bullying me. She says I'm not blood related and that I'm a fake. What do you say? Even though she isn't related by blood, I think of Martha as if she were my real daughter. Clearly, Healer is influencing her. This is a misunderstanding. We haven't been mean towards Hillary, but she's been nothing but rude to us. <laughs> Gloria, don't cry. Albert, cut the facade. It just so happens that I carelessly held down the record button while you were talking earlier. Huh? Uh, it looks like I was recording everything. I'll play it back. We don't need you here, Hillary. You're a nuisance. Mom says so too. We tried so hard to get you out of here. Why did you have to come back? There's no place for you here anymore. I'll keep pushing you out, no matter what. So, hurry up and leave. The... the mother's voice? You're wrong! I don't know anything about that! Of course, surely this is a mistake. This is the exact time and date of the recording. Have a look. It's exactly five minutes ago. Is it not? What is this? Were you telling lies? Albert... Don't look as though you were the victim here. Isn't your role as a father to protect your daughter? My niece, your memory of Amanda. That's so, so sorry. 
I won't forget that. I'm taking Hillary back with me. Huh? What if I had believed you? Corp Amanda would have been furious. Dad, I'm going to stay with Granny from now on. I don't want to stay here anymore. Hillary, I'm sorry. I was wrong. Can we not leave it just us two again? Albert, are you abandoning us? Stop. I can't believe you anymore. Let's go, Hillary. I did tell you. This isn't the end, however. Come see us when you are ready. A few months later. In fact, the house that Albert lived in contained land that belonged to his father. Because the land was extraordinarily cheap, his father released the land for sale. They soon found a buyer and Albert's new family were asked to pay the market value of rent. In the end, they couldn't pay and were asked to vacate. Yes, thank you very much. It's finally over. That was sick. It seems they weren't able to pay the rent. Now they've had to move somewhere else. Dad, it seems it was sold to some scary company people in the end. So where has he gone? He's been shown a cheap property. It's not well known for his quality though. <laughs> That's not economical. Hillary loved us all as if we were her parents. She had not forgiven Albert for his actions. And I shared similar feelings. Albert still hadn't broken up with Gloria. It seemed as though Gloria wouldn't leave. I'm home. Welcome back. How's your new school? It's good. Everyone is really nice. Hillary has entered our home as an adopted child. Albert was hesitant to start, but as he had come to understand the situation with Gloria and Martha, he eventually called off their relationship. However, Albert had already entered her into the family register. And if he had entered her into the family register, then he had to tell her that she now had an A-figure debt. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Auntie, what's happened? Nothing to worry about, Hillary. I was just thinking how happy I want to make you. Ah, uh, that's weird. Seeing the smile and face of Hillary, the image of my younger sister, I vowed to protect her.